welcome to our channel my name is nikita from bsp solution in today's video i am going to explain how we can create payroll definition in oracle hcm so at first we will know what is the payroll definition payroll definition contain calendar and offset information used to determine when you calculate and cost payments payroll period types such as weekly or monthly determine the interval at which you pay employees use the payroll definition task to specify payment frequency processing schedule and other parameter for a particular payroll create at least one payroll definition for each payroll period type you use to pay employee for example to pay employee weekly create a payroll definition using the weekly payroll period type ensuring that tax calculation other calculation produce correct result for the for those employees when you create a payroll definition the application generates the complete payroll schedule based on the payroll period type the offsets or calendar adjustment and the number of years that you specify each payroll is the schedule is assigned a unique name so let's move on to the application where we are going to create payroll definition on the home page click on the top right of the page after that setup and maintenance then go to the task area click on the search option here search for the payroll definition task for existing one select the legislative data group and then search for it for creating new click on the create option here select the legislative data group here fill the basic details of the payroll fill the name then set the reporting name select the consolidation group for uh, this payroll each payroll must belong to a consolidation group which the application require for processing purpose and a legislative data group so make sure these exist before creating your payroll definition then select the period type and after that select the ledger and if you want to allow negative payment you can enable it and after that go to the first period and date so effective start date the effective start date is the uh, date that the payroll definition is available for the employee data and the first period and date is the date of the first payroll period that the application generate for a payroll definition first period end date is typically based on the date of uh, implementation tax year benefits enroll enrollments or a particular payment cycle for example if you weekly payroll work week is a uh, wednesday through tuesday and your first payment is on uh, 19 jan 2022 you could use 25th jan 2022 as your first period end date
then select the default payment method here here under the valid payment method you can add organization payment method and if you want to add another one click on the add create icon and then add then click on the next here set the number of years the number of years you enter represent how many years of time period to generate starting from the beginning of the first payroll period which is determined by the first period end date once you save a payroll definition you can later only increase but not reduce its number of years because a calendar of time period for the payroll was already generated so here i change one from fifth and these are the offset details plant submission uh, what is the offset details depending on the payroll period type you can elect for your payroll cycle events to occur in specific dates or to have a application calculate dates based on the offsets from period start or end date what is a plant submission date is a date to inform the payroll administrator or payroll manager on the plant date to submit the payroll run for each payroll period and second is a cut off date it is a date that payroll information is entered for the payroll period this date is for information purpose only your department such as hr may need this payroll deadline to submit information that affects the payroll runs the next is a pay slip availability date is a date that is it is a date on which employee can view their pay slips payroll run date is a what is a payroll run date it is a date used by payroll calculation process to retrieve effective values such as employee details and next is a date earn is a, it is a date on which the application process element entry for the payroll and last is a date period it is a date employees marked as a paid so let's click on the next option so we will move on to the next page this is the payroll calendar so we don't set any date inside the offset detail so here it sets accordingly like uh, all dates are the same end date is the same cut off date is the same date earn is the same payroll run date is the same date pay, date paid is the same pay slip availability date is the same then plant submission date is also the same so if we set the uh, details in the offset detail these dates got changed so let's click on the next option Yeah. Now look at the costing of payroll. There are four segment enable in the cost allocation flex field at the payroll level. Uh, these are the company line of business, cost center, and enter company. These value provided by the financial consultant. So we can skip it for now. Then click on the next option. Let's review the information. which we just fill for the payroll and then click on the submit option so how we can how we can add this payroll definition to the employee let's see go to the home page on the home page go to my client group 
and then click on the person management option. Here search for the person. Click on the action, then go to the payroll and click on the payroll relationship option. Here under the payroll details, click on the create icon. Here select the payroll. We just created this one. So I select this here and then click on the save option. So this is how you can create payroll definition and add to the employer.